What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be making a game in five minutes and showing you guys how we can make a simple game in five minutes and just see how this challenge is going to play out. So hopefully I can teach you guys something in this video and hopefully we can make some game, I don't know, in under five minutes. Let's see if that's actually even possible to do. I doubt it, but hey, we can always try it, bro. But let's go ahead and get into the video. So basically, it's going to be a simple idea. We really cannot make anything too big uh, inside of a five, like five to six minutes, whatever we're going to be making. So we're going to have to make something very, very fast right so it's gonna be have to be a pretty pretty fast executing thing and we're gonna be making a simple obby so we're just gonna make an obby with checkpoints ending and just pay to skip all stages and i think that's probably gonna be it so it's not really gonna be too much that we can do but hopefully we can go ahead and make this as fast as possible so i'm just gonna start right now bro we're gonna be deleting the base plate instantly the first thing we do we're gonna have a spawn location right here we're just gonna insert a part bro we need to move fast okay we're gonna make sure these parts are anchored uh, there we go and now we just have something like this and then we just make some jumps right here we just have some turns there we go make it even like thinner there we go we're just gonna be making a simple simple obby right here three four five <laughs> bro we're going so fast okay we need to be even faster actually so we might actually go ahead and boost this let's just go ahead and do like a normal pad right here so this is just gonna be some basic part building right here we're just gonna be pasting over parts Let's see if we can actually make this happen. Okay, boom. This is done right here. Okay, this is kind of like a harder jump. Boom. Right now. And now we can just make like an ending right here. Boom. All right. Now that we have made the whole map, let's go ahead and color every single thing right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just like separate them by like stages. Boom. Now we have the red right here. Uh, let's make this part. Uh, oops. Let's make this part right here and this part right here. We're going to make this blue. Uh, let's make it purple. There we go. And now we can uh, put these two into being like golden. There we go. We can actually make them like neon. So they kind of like, there we go. So they pop Oh, There we go. Okay, now we can finally go ahead and let's go ahead and just go to the toolbox real quick and put a chest in here. Chest. We're just going to put a huge golden chest right here. Let's just size it up. Holy, this is going to look crazy. There we go. So now we have a chest and we can just go ahead and make a new billboard GUI right here. There we go. Now we can just remove this and we can make it like a yellow sort of text. And as you can see, there's like a reward right there. So people are going to be pretty, pretty hyped. Um, there we go. Now let's actually just uh, make sure that people don't fall off the spawn right here. Uh, let's just go ahead and make like a simple platform right here. So people just don't die right on the spawn. There we go. And now what we have to do is we have to actually make the checkpoints. So we're just going to go ahead and place a part right here. Boom. I'm gonna call it checkpoint one. And then we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and enlarge this. Make sure this is transparent. Make sure this is anchored, massless. We're gonna group this into a folder real quick. We're gonna call it checkpoints. There we go. And now we're just gonna call this uh, checkpoint one. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and clone this. And we're gonna put this right here. We're gonna call it checkpoint two. We're just gonna make some random checkpoints right here so people can actually Okay, yeah, and people might actually die when they're spawning right here, so we might just have to put it like right there. And we're gonna have another checkpoint right up here um, called checkpoint four. There we go, there we go. Okay, now we just copy and paste it into all these and then just make sure the text is changed. Oh my goodness, we're literally running out of time. Ah, right, boom, now we have all checkpoints in place. We can go ahead and see if we can actually beat this. There we go, easy, easy, there we go. Now we have all checkpoints that are set right here. Now we can go ahead and see how this is going to operate when we actually have checkpoints. So we're going to be just running this pretty quickly and speed running it. Boom. So we're going to make a new script inside of here. We're going to call it checkpoints, checkpoints. There we go. We're adding a new player. Every time we add a new player, we can add its character. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving these checkpoints. So local, local checkpoints. So we're just basically making a checkpoint value to track checkpoints. And its value is going to be one, right? Okay, there we go. Filtered equals two uh checkpoint dot dot checkpoint dot value then we're gonna make sure this says two string there we go now we just mention the name filter right here and now we also need to make sure this actually saves so we're gonna do um we're gonna do a separate script right here we're gonna just say for in workspace at checkpoints uh we can go ahead and then up update this checkpoint value so player oops we're gonna say local I'm sorry if I'm not explaining everything, guys, because we're going to try and go quickly. But once I make the game and show, I'm going to explain what we did inside of this game and how this is actually going to be pretty good to actually make your Robux. Not even going to lie to you, bro. 
um but yeah okay if player then all right so boom guys we have literally cooked it up right now i'm just going to show you a little changes that i did i made a leader stats folder so our checkpoints can be displayed and i just made it so every time we touch a checkpoint we get it updated so now we're going to go into the game i'm just going to show you guys this real quick so we're at checkpoint one let's go ahead and cook right here boom let's go ahead and jump through over these and i'm just going to go to checkpoint two and i'm going to go ahead and see as you can see our checkpoint updates we can go literally ahead and just jump off right now and die and as you guys can see what's going to happen is we're going to spawn back on checkpoint two so now our checkpoint system is working now all we need to do is basically make some sort of trolling and then just make it so we can just skip to the end as like a purchase so we can get some robux of people actually playing this and i think this is actually gonna be like we can title the game the world's easiest obby and i think it's gonna do pretty well bro all right boom so i literally just added some troll faces to the lobby just to make it seem a bit more lively now only thing we have left is basically to go ahead and make a screen gui we're gonna make a huge text button right here boom let's just make this button even bigger and then let's make sure we have this bolded out like this and then we have a sort of ui corner and go ahead and say script.parent activated connect function game get service marketplace service rom product purchase game.players.local player now we just need to make a game pass uh, actually like a developer product so we're gonna go ahead and go to settings i'm just gonna publish the game real quick all right boom let's just uh cook up real quick let's make a developer product changes there we go now we have our developer product paste it right here now we go into the server script we make a new server script we call it oh we call it monetization now boom we just need a few simple things we need a marketplace service we need a players and we need a table called product functions now inside of this table, I'm just basically going to call a function when we just purchase the thing, which we're going to TP our player to the end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make a simple part right here. Uh, we're just going to make sure this is anchored. I'm going to move it right here. Make sure you can't collide with it. Make sure it's transparent. We're just going to name the part. Uh, let's just name it end uh, player that character pivot to oops pivot to there we go workspace. Uh, now, all, all the things we gotta do is we gotta make sure this receipt is actually processed. Boom, there we go. So now basically what's gonna happen is when we purchase this, it's gonna call this process receipt function and it's gonna check if the player's ID matches the product ID and it's gonna teleport us. Now let's go ahead into the game and try and test this and see if this actually works. Skip down, boom. There we go, easy. Now we just have to make sure this is trolling at the end. So what we're gonna do is we're just basically put a simple proximity prompt right here. Troll face, uh, let's do this, no, not this guy. Uh, let's just do this one. You got trolled. All right, boom, now we just got, let's just name this troll. Uh, workspace.chest.proximityprompt.trigger, connect function player. We're gonna make sure that we get the troll on the player, so let's just make a new remote event. That ending, that replicated storage, that ending, fire client player. And right here in the same script, we'll just say again, the replicated storage, that uh, ending, that on client event, connect function workspace dot troll uh which one is that the troll face there we go the troll guy that enabled these two there we go boom so now let's go ahead and test the game actually out and see if this actually works okay skip to end boom we go into the end uh there's a proximity prompt right here which doesn't okay there we go it's a bit further away so we're gonna have to make sure yeah we're gonna have to, boom let's just make the activation activation just to 30 get back in there boom now we skip to the end what happens okay interact Boom, you got trolled. There we go, bro. Easy. Now we can also just name this um ending and or we can just do claim. Uh and then we can do this. There we go. So yeah, that's really gonna be it, bro. This is literally gonna be the whole game. We did it in under five minutes, bro. Like I, I know, I think it was like around five minutes, but this just shows you guys that you can literally make a game so fast now. Again, I do not recommend doing this at all because as you guys can see, we literally have an awful scripting structure. We literally don't have the scripts organized. We don't know what we're doing, but we literally made the game. And this just shows you not to overcomplicate what you guys are doing because you can make simple, simple games like this. And this, this game can actually make you some Robux, which is kind of crazy. People are actually going to play anything. So if you guys want, you can give this a try. You can release it, see how it does. It's probably going to, I don't know how it's going to do, but bro, as you can see, we literally made an obby in like five minutes, bro. We have a skip to end where players can purchase. We have like a troll reward at the end. It's kind of like a troll obby. You can name it like a uh, mango troll obby or something. I don't even know, bro. But yeah, <laughs> literally you can make a game in five minutes, bro. Honestly, that that's crazy. That was a pretty cool challenge. Uh, again, obviously, you cannot organize scripts like this. This is awful. If you guys watch some of my uh, previous videos, you guys are going to know how the framework is actually supposed to be organized. But yeah, if you guys do actually want to learn on how to organize things properly, how to actually make a game and just, you know, instead of spending five minutes, spend a little bit more time and actually make something. 
But again, this just shows you that you can literally make a game in five minutes and try release it and see what happens because Roblox is a simple platform. People are usually going to play anything. So it was a pretty cool challenge to see and we actually did it. I, I don't know how we did that, but yeah. Uh, also, yeah. If you guys are also interested in learning and go more in depth in how to actually make games, how to actually make proper and bigger games, not something like this, which is pretty funny of a challenge to do. Uh, make sure you guys check out the first link in the description. It's going to be my academy. And that's basically where I teach everything I know uh, from descripting to making games to getting commissions and all of that. Uh, we had some pretty crazy results recently with all of our students. But yeah, um, that's going to be pretty much it, bro. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised with how the game turned out. Let's just go ahead and play this and see uh, if we actually have, or we'll probably have zero bugs, bro. Honestly, if I have to skip to the end, oh my goodness, we literally fell. We're still at checkpoint one, though, so it's going to be easy, bro. Don't even worry about it. Okay, we're gonna respawn. Um, boom. Let's go ahead and beat this real quick. There we go. Now we are at checkpoint two. Easy, bro. Okay, yeah, this, bro. We might. Oh, <laughs> bro. I say easy. Okay, let me just reset real quick. We gotta go past. Okay, we're at checkpoint two. Easy. We're gonna just get transported to that right there. Um, yeah, we're probably even a noob at this obby, even though it's so easy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's see if you, yeah, we can make these jumps. That's good. Okay, I, I was scared that you weren't going to be able to make these. Okay, boom, checkpoint. We get, oh yeah, you cannot make this jump. We're probably going to have to resize something like this, bro. Just resize the obby so people can actually make this jump. Try to like hack myself to actually have a big jump power. Wait, let me, let me do that, bro. Okay, let's do 90. Let's see. Okay, is this going to help me? Yep. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're actually, now we're actually doing it. Okay, there we go. Boom. Let's wait. Oh, bro, come on. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness bro we literally buffed the speed up to the <gasps> yo bro we literally buffed the speed up to the max bro i'm not gonna lie what you guys can do in the settings you can basically make this so you are like very very fast so the obby is like even harder oh my goodness bro i literally can't type anything bro i'm such a noob okay let's just skip to the end bro i'm i'm like i'm tired i'm tired of this i'm tired of this bro we need to skip to the end there we go boom and now we just go ahead and claim this you got trolled but yeah i think what a good idea is for this game is to actually make sure you go to like the, the starter player and you make sure uh, this is like at 90 and you put the walk speed at like 70 so it's kind of like control lobby and instead of it being so easy like you just oh my goodness bro like it's way too hard <gasps> i'm actually cooking yo i'm actually gonna beat this bro i'm actually gonna beat this yo no way yo no <laughs> way bro uh, that was insane bro holy well boys thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys liked it uh if you did make sure you subscribe oh my god we died again <laughs> make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on this is a pretty cool challenge drop in the comments what challenge you would want to see next and also make sure you guys check out the first link in the description is going to be my academy without further ado hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like subscribe and i'll catch you boys in the next one peace